This lecture will discuss three common preventative measures performed after birth to prevent serious disorders in the newborn. Eye medication is provided within an hour of birth to decrease the risk of contracting gonococcal conjunctivitis. It is important to note, however, that the ointments used are not effective in preventing neonatal conjunctivitis due to chlamydia trachomatis. A 1 cm ribbon of ophthalmic ointment, such as 0.5% erythromycin, is placed in the lower conjunctival sac bilaterally. Excess ointment can be wiped away one minute after application, but the eyes should not be rinsed. Eye irrigation decreases efficacy and is thus contraindicated. Within 24 hours of application, self-limited irritation and redness of the conjunctiva can occur due to the ointment. This adverse effect is less common with erythromycin ointments than silver nitrate and usually resolves within 48 hours. Prophylactic vitamin K1 is administered shortly after birth to prevent vitamin K deficient bleeding. A single intramuscular dose of vitamin K is more effective than orally administered regimens in decreasing the risk of late onset vitamin K deficient bleeding and is thus preferred. Hepatitis B vaccination in the nursery is recommended in the newborn to prevent, well, hepatitis B and its complications. This recommendation is for all babies that weigh greater than 2 kilograms irregardless of mother serology. The timing of vaccination for babies weighing less than 2 kg depends on maternal hepatitis B virus surface antigen status. The first dose of the hepatitis B vaccine is given within 24 hours of birth if the mom is hepatitis B surface antigen negative. However, if the mom is hepatitis B surface antigen positive, then the vaccine should be given shortly after birth within 12 hours of life with the addition of hepatitis B immunoglobulin. If maternal hepatitis B surface antigen status is unknown, then again the vaccine should be administered within the first 12 hours of life and her blood should be tested for the antigen. If the tests return positive, then hepatitis B immunoglobulin should be given to the newborn within the first week of life.